welcome back once again to gym academia so guys today we have a very special video which was brought uh, which has been brought to you because of the request of numerous students about the preparation strategies for wbj 2022 and it's specifically to, to be discussed with someone who has done it and has shown it that it can be done in the proper way So today we have with us Chandrachur Mukherjee, and he, so Chandrachur, if you could briefly introduce yourself for all our participants. Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Chandrachur Mukherjee. I have got a rank of one forty two in WBJE, twelve thousand six hundred seventy eight in JEE mains, and nine thousand two hundred thirteen in JEE advanced. So now I am in Jadavpur University. I am currently pursuing my BE in Computer Science and Engineering. And so yeah, so I love that's... to play, and I love to play cricket, volleyball, badminton, etc. And I love to spend time with my friends. So that's all about myself. Yeah, so that's the very dream branch, JUCSC, which or most of the WBJ aspirants aim for. So, so Chandrachur has done it and shown that how it can be done. So today we will be discussing all what he has done for his own success and what you know, he thinks that it is the best way to get get to WBJ. So without much ado, let us get started. So Chandrachur, uh, it's quite it's been quite some time that you are now in JU like uh, after admission. So how has your experience in Jadavpur University been like? I Means so after JU, many of the students uh, get a bit relaxed. They 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 are like uh, how they are uh, interested in thinking about how college life will be. So can you give them a feel of how college life has been for you till now after WBJ? Yes, uh, I am very happy to be here in Jadavpur University. It's been almost two months since I joined JU, and uh, I have got a very good peer group, a very great group of seniors. They help us in every perspective, like uh, supplying us notes or giving us the assignments, or in every perspective. Uh, but uh, the sad part is we are not in uh, JU campus, so I am missing it the most. And hope we will be uh, we we will soon be there, and yes, yeah. So JU campus, so that's the the campus life of JU, and all of you are aware of the fact how campus life of JU is. Uh, I don't need to elaborate much on that. So missing campus life uh, in during the college life is something which is like one of the most terrible experiences. I myself have faced it. Our batch has faced it, and they are also facing it. And I think. On third of January, they they had begun their classes after the sport round, and uh, after that day only the lockdown was announced for the third wave. So there was yes, some of the most. It was supposed to be uh, college life was start was supposed to be started from third, but uh, lockdown yeah. was announced from that day only. Uh huh. So partial lockdown and closure of the education institution took place on that day only. So you yes, can yes. understand how disappointed they could be. So yeah, yes. I hope all that all things get right soon and uh, all of you can enjoy college life. So moving on to the next question. So yeah, like uh, you know, WBJ is a competitive exam, so that requires quite some bit of practice. So uh, for that, what what most of them would advise is mock test. So Tondrojo, how do you practice the mock test, and what are strategies would you advise uh, to the aspirants regarding mock tests and practice? Yes, uh, mock test is a very important part for any competitive examination. Uh, so I pra also practice some of the mock test. Uh, actually, I was uh, not that serious for WBJE as I was preparing for JE mains and advanced. So the preparation was going on with that. So before like uh, one week or ten days before the WBJE examination, I started giving the mock test for WBJE. Uh, that that were basically the previous year questions. And that helped me a lot to uh, actually analyze the question pattern and everything. And as I I am a dropper, so I was already aware of the question pattern and exam circumstances. So that helped me. Yes. And uh, coming to the strategy part, so I attempted the two marks question first, and then one marks question because there are too many questions in WBJE. Like in physics, it's seventy five, and physics chemistry combined, it's eighty. So most of the students like me are not. even able to go through all the questions so uh, leaving the question is important in wbje uh, you have to leave questions so whenever you get stuck in any question and yes that's all 
Yeah, WJ I think has uh, two paper. WJ has two papers of hundred marks each, and each of them has two hours of time. So understanding which question you have to do and which one you have to leave, that is a very important thing. And to do yeah, that, course. only one thing can help you in achieving that. Yeah, what Chandu just said. So that, that is mock test. If you are practiced enough for mock test, then you will after seeing the question, you will get a straight idea of which question you should attempt and which one you should leave immediately. Because if you are stuck in the wrong question, which you ca ca can't solve in the end, then you will be wasting a lot of time in, on one side and then you won't get any mark on the other side. But uh, on the other hand, if you attempt some correct questions during that time, you'll be getting quite some bit of marks. Then that is a very important point which I should elaborate and Chandra said that too. So moving on to the next question. So what are the, uh, like, w the WBJ is, uh, is a the competitive exam, I know, but uh, there are other exams also like advanced and uh, all the other exams for admission to different engineering colleges. So what are, what, what when is the appropriate time when uh, you think that the aspirants should start focusing on WBJ or start explicit preparation for WBJ? Uh, as uh, if anyone is preparing for JE mains and advanced, then syllabus or exam pattern is more or less the same and uh, the difficulty level is also comparable uh, with the JE mains. So I don't think that uh, WBJ requires any uh, extra effort, only you have to do the mock test and the preparation will be, uh, preparation for JE mains and advanced will be sufficient for WBJ also. Yeah, so that is an important fact. Like um, if you have prepared already for JE mains and advanced, then you are already accustomed to the type of questions that are asked in these exams. And also yeah. you have got a thorough revision of the syllabus of JE mains and advanced. So like Chandra just said, if you are prepared for these, then you don't require too much uh, stress for WBJ. It's already in, on your, in your hands. You just need to practice the mock test papers and the actual exam papers. Then you'll get a thorough idea and you can go and easily do well in WBJ. That's not a big issue. So moving on to the next question, that is uh, like uh, during JE, many of the aspirants like uh, want, want to know how what the toppers did during their uh, free time, What how a typical day was like. So John, John, from your point of view, what was uh, a typical day in your life during JE preparation? Uh, for me, it's like uh, everyone. Uh, like uh, uh, in the morning, uh, we had our uh, coaching classes and uh, in between them, we have our lunch break and after they, uh, our self-study. So that's all. And uh, yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah. So self-study. Self self-study is a very important word as far as competitive exams are concerned. Because you know that if you are going to the coaching, you are coming back, you're writing down notes, that's all okay. But when it comes to doing well in an exam, then the key is self-study. You have to revise all those notes. You have to start study everything again. You have to solve problems on your own because if you don't solve problems, then you will never understand the concept and you won't be able to solve any questions in the exam. So, and you have to also practice mock tests accordingly. So self-study, what Chandru said is very important word, mind that while preparing for WBJ or any competitive exam for that matter. Guys and girls, the complete physics, chemistry, mathematics mock test for WBJ 2022 aspirants are starting from 15 January. This has been brought to you by Akash Time Education and Dream Academia. And here we will be conducting the test in very depth so that you can get a grasp of the concept. And so I request you to enroll in this test series as app. The link is given in the description box so that you can get 30% discount and also you will be winning exciting prizes by by coming in the top three in this test. So Chandrajan, where do you live? Like, I live which... in Raniganj. Achha, achha. Oh, so that's a rural area. So you can also get lots of opportunities to play that. That's what I want to know because in Kolkata, the schedule is a very, has, has a very hectic over here. So in rural, rural area, that advantage is there. You can get a lot of free time also after studies. So yeah, yes. the, one important fact is all, all work and no play makes Jack a very dull boy. You will already know that fact. So if you are studying whole day, then even after some time, you will lose your concentration. That's very, very natural. It happens for everyone. So you have to relax somehow in Kolkata and other cities. The method of relaxation is watching uh, movies and video games and whatnot. But in rural, rural area and uh, the uh, like outside the city, it is like going out and play. So that is the best thing if you can do. Uh, keep some time for yourself, relax and freshen up your mind. You will improve in studies. That's a very important fact. Yes, so, and I think it's the best refreshing method, actually. Ha, huh, of course, of course, because continuous studies means you will lose your efficiency after some time. You won't be able to solve problems. I myself have faced that problem with the head becomes saturated. 
But if you relax a bit, then it will be again okay for, uh, for the next few hours. So yeah, we can move yeah. to the next question. Like, uh, John Rooster, you had applied for WEJ 2021, and we all know that before that, there was a lockdown period, and the things were completely online during that period. So how do you fight stress and uh, demotivation during that time? Because uh, we know that you couldn't go out and meet friends too often, or you wouldn't go to school and all that. So um, during that online phase, how did you manage your stress and demotivation? Yes, uh, at the beginning, it was a bit tough uh, to prepare online, but I was gradually habituated with that. And uh, uh, for uh, preparation, uh, the everything was my coaching was going online. And uh, in this JEE journey, there are many ups and downs. So you have to face all them. And uh, facing that, you will be become better day by day. So uh, you have to face that. And uh, I also did the same. And I am here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One important factor is that um, means these are elimination exams, not uh, evaluation exams. So people out there are sitting to eliminate you. So they will ask you only those questions which they know that they won't be able to answer. So it is very natural that you, you will face problems which will not you will not be able to solve. So the key to the fact is that you shouldn't get demotivated if you see a problem which you can't solve. You remember the fact that everything here is relative. If you can't solve, then nobody else can solve. So you have to understand the fact that um, the, if, if you encounter a tough problem and you're not able to solve it, then you shouldn't get demotivated. You should keep trying. When you, if you can't solve one problem, solve the easier ones, then move on to the tough problems. Go ask your teacher, discuss with your friends, but you can't leave it out at this point. It's very crucial that you have to maintain that hard work and discipline till the last point. Yeah, so we're moving on to the next question. So WJ is a very stressed stress out day and uh, the exam is very tough, you all know the fact. I have a very interesting question out here for you. So what was your feeling like means on the day of the WJ exam and on the day of the result? Means uh, you have got a very hard, decent rank, we all know that fact. But how did you feel when you saw the results flashing on your screen? Or what was it like inside the exam hall? So could you briefly describe the WJ journey in brief? Yes, yes. So uh, the day was a little hectic, like uh, four hour exam plus one hour break, total five hours examination. And uh, I was uh, not very confident after attempting the paper uh, because I am not uh, not actually sure that how much paper I have attempted. So uh, I was not feeling that happy. Uh, but after returning home, I calculated my marks and uh, I got I got that uh, I am getting around 115 to 120. So, so then I was happy that uh, at least I am going to JU. And uh, in the result day, uh, I was even more happier because uh, I got a rank of 142, uh, which I didn't expected uh, earlier because uh, according to the previous year cutoff, uh, it was uh, not close to that. Uh, so yeah, everyone was happy in my family and I called all the teachers and our relatives and everyone was happy. Yeah, so that is the dream day when aspirants are looking up to that day of the result, they will get a good decent rank. They will understand that they are going to their dream college. So that is like, means that is what they're working for for the like, two or three years to, for that one day only. So yes. I think um, we have covered most of the doubts which aspirants face in their minds. Still, if you have any doubt, then you are free to mention it in the comment section. Uh, we'll be contacting John Rusher and letting you know the answer. But now we have a very important last question. So, John Rusher, what would be your final word of advice to any aspirant who is preparing for WBC 2022 or for any other competitive examination like WBC? Yes. Uh, so, if you are preparing for WBC, uh, you have to keep certain things in your mind. Like uh, first one is WBJ board doesn't provide you any extra rough sheet to work. So you have to do all your calculation in the exam sheet is itself. And then you have to mark your answers in the webmark sheet, uh, which is a crucial part because uh, if you mark any question wrong, so then there is a, no option to reverse that. So you have to mark that very carefully. And uh, and the questions, the level of questions are actually not very tough. If you are prepared well, then you can solve that easily. Uh, the main part is you have to solve the questions uh, which you could solve. Don't stuck in, in any questions. 
and uh, yes and uh, fill the omr sheet properly i have started a youtube channel to help you all in your je preparation i will tell you the best teachers to follow the best youtube channels best mock test and best paper attempt strategy and everything you need to crack je with a great rank so do subscribe to my channel you will get the link in the video description yeah, so i think the it has cleared all your doubts one important fact which sondu should mention is omr sheet you have to fill very very carefully because the sheet is not replaceable so if you make one mistake in that filling up the omr sheet then your exam is cancelled and all your preparation goes down the drain so remember that fact while um, um, preparing for wbj and also you can may, may buy omr sheets from the market and solve the previous years and mock test on the omr sheet that, that is what i personally did uh, for um, during my preparation so that, that was all for the, this video we have covered all the doubts i think which aspirants face while preparation but still if you have any form of doubts i i mentioned it again you can mention it in the comment section we will reach out to chandrachur and surely let you know and also subscribe to our channel for more such content and more interviews if you if you like this video then please like it and share it among all your friends and aspirants who are preparing for wbj so i think that was all for this video thank you and stay safe